What's up guys it's music king quickly guys going to show you how to use your trust wallet for cryptocurrency for crypto exchanging or trading for uh staking your cryptocurrency i'm going to show you how to add coins to your trust wallet i'm going to show you how to get the browser on your trust wallet i'm going to show you how to stake your cryptocurrency on trust wallet uh yeah this is going to show you how to use your trust wallet and it's very useful Let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to do is, you know, download the trust wallet on your uh, Apple App Store or your Google Store. From what I know for right now, trust wallet is only on phones. Maybe it'll come to the computer someday. So download trust wallet. Here it is. What it looks like. You download trust wallet. You can do like all your cryptos on here pretty much like even like exotic altcoins, XRP, ADA, whatever. You could just do it right here. BNB all on the trust wallet. Uh, this like thing is trust wallet is the official crypto wallet of binance so you know this is really good it works with bnb coin a lot but anyway you download trust wallet you get trust wallet then when you set up your trust wallet when you first download it it's gonna ask you to like start a new trust wallet and it's gonna ask you to like you know it's gonna either give you or ask you for a c phrase and you're gonna like want to write that down in like two or three different places and store it somewhere and have it so where you can access it just in case you lose your phone your phone gets deleted or your phone gets stolen you know whatever what have you you'll be able to come back to your trust wallet you know if you don't have that phrase written down then you're not going to be able to access your trust wallet anymore. If you lose, you know, your phone, your phone gets deleted, your phone gets reset, you break your phone and you're going to lose access to your cryptocurrency. But all you got to do is when you first make your trust wallet, write it down in a couple of different places, put it in a couple of different places, your trust wallet, you know, C phrase and password or whatever it gives you, write it down, store it. That's the main thing you want to do before you even do anything else. Write the password down the C phrase or what have you. After you got that, you could put Trust Wallet on different devices, your other phones or whatever with that same C phrase. You could delete Trust Wallet and then you could just download Trust Wallet again and put your C phrase and your wallet with all your coins and be right back. So you see, I'm already doing a little bit of stuff on my Trust Wallet. I got a couple coins. Uh, yeah. So you can add more coins just by clipping this, clicking this thing in the top right hand corner, right? So, and you can just search for whatever coin you want to add. Uh, let's type in a random coin, whatever. I don't know. I'm just, let me think of a coin. One, Harmony One. Is that on here? Yeah, see, they have Harmony One. I can just add that one. Added Harmony One. And you can do the BEP2 Harmony One, uh, which is like this a different synonym version of it, or whatever other coins you want to add. Let's say XRP, I can add XRP. Uh, let's say uh, Uniswap. They have the Uniswap token on there, the different ones. Whatever you want to do, you know what I'm saying? You can add all your tokens that way. Just by clicking this button here, you can search for it and it'll come up. So then you see tokens, finance, and finance will come back to this for staking. This is where you can actually stake your coins and make money. Collectibles. Later on, I guess if you get some, uh, you know, digital collectibles, NFTs or something like that. And your alerts, your notifications. All right. Then it says wallet, DEX, and settings. So you get at the bottom here, right? So DEX, settings. You could use this. Might be useful to connect to certain things. Wallet, collect later down the line and you'll be able to connect your your wallet to different stuff using that thing preferences you know you can switch it to us dollars whatever you want to do yada 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 push notifications you probably want it on because it's dealing with your money uh basic stuff here your wallets you could create multiple wallets on here right so i'm just showing you how to work trust wallet now that's pretty easy. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to enable your browser on Trust Wallet. Like, how the hell do you enable your browser on Trust Wallet? You really need to be able to do this. You really need to enable your browser on Trust Wallet. It's really clutch, guys, that you enable your browser. And you do that. You got to go to your web browser. 
And once you have your web browser, I'm using Safari, so I have my web browser up. Once you have your web browser up, you just want to go here to your thing and go to trust browser underscore enable. And I'll try to put this in the YouTube description box. So you go there and this is the secret link you need. This this link right here, you need this link to enable the browser, the web browser on your trust browser app. So I'm gonna go there, open page and trust, open. So now down here at the bottom, if you notice it wasn't there before, it has a browser section, woo! Browser section. And from here, I could access, I could, you know, I could swap out coins with like, you know, different things. Uniswap, I could swap my coins out if I want to. You know, I could use Pancake Swap to swap coins. You know, I could do that. Uh, I could uh, do anything I want to do on here, really. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Or I could, you know, go to beefy.finance here. And I could like stake some of my coins for like high rates. Like, let's say I want to stake uh, XRP. So I'm going to type in XRP, right? And then sort by APY. So it tells me, oh, so we got one person. Yeah, one, one place or whatever where I could get 15% APY on my... Uh, xrp by staking it and that's 0 0.04 percent daily so let's go to another coin like ada cardano so uh ada by itself i can just stake it and i can get eight percent a day on cardano if you want to do the ada bnb you could get you know way more you can get 46 percent. you feel me so that's a lot uh Let's say I want to stake Tron. Is that on here? Do they have Tron? No, they don't have Tron. They may not have everything on this one, but there's other ones. Let's just say I want to stake uh, Uni. Okay, cool. You can stake Uni, BNB, 90%. Let's say I want to stake uh, one. They don't have one. Let's say uh, BTT. So every coin isn't option isn't here for staking on this particular one, but you can find other ones. Uh, let's say I want to stake. Uh, I don't know. We could just say all. And then and then yeah and look, they're just like staking like different prices, different APYs. Like this one, if you stake in this, it's actually 443%. You feel me? Like, it's whatever coin you want to stake. You got to figure that out. Look, just information. Let's say I want to just do single coins by yourself, like single assets, not with other coin. Man, some nice little little numbers here. If you're looking at them, you know, bakery staking at 15. You know what I'm saying? Some cool numbers. LTC staking at 11%. Ooh. Look, there you go. Cardano, 8% ETH staking. Whatever you want to stake, guys. Dot. Die. You can just type it in using the search thing. And, you know... Let's just say I want to stake some uh, XRP. So you got to have your XRP wallet on and you got to transfer some XRP to this trust wallet, which you should know how to do. And then your balance would appear here and then you just click approve and it just stakes. And then, you know, that's it. You're making money staking there. So hope that wasn't too complicated. Basically, I just went to the browser, whatever. Uh, also, like, how would you use? Uh, people want to know, like, how do you use, uh, Pancake Swap? So Pancake Swap, 
you uh first off you got to have some bnb token so what you do is you go on like binance or somewhere or wherever you want to go and buy a bnb token then transfer the bnb token to this address go ahead send me some if you want to but transfer to your address not mine to your address you know what i'm saying so it goes to your trust wallet you see i've done that then after you get the bnb you want to click more and then you want to swap to the smart chain after you bought some bnb on you know binance us or wherever you want to buy your bnb at or you already got some bnb you transfer it here by clicking receive and then it's going to go inside your trust wallet once it gets there all you do then is you click more and you want to swap it to your smart chain you can also stake it if you wanted to but you swap it to your smart chain um, i've already swapped it to my smart chain and then it's going to be here swaps to your smart chain then you got your coin in your smart chain or whatever your bnb now you could actually go on pancake swap and you could like swap out coins and it'll know like how much you know you have in your account so then you go back to your browser and then you can either search for pancake swap even though it's right there you type it in but basically just find pancake swap it i and you connect it see where it says connect right here you connect it with whatever one you want to do it with we're using trust wallet it's connected now right boom after it's connected it's gonna uh you gotta like what token do you want like you know you select the token right here say it's like a new hot token everybody's talking about or a new coin everybody's talking about called safe moon so uh what you would do is to get some safe moon you would just go to like uh coinmarketcap.com and you don't see safe moon on there right or whatever let's see like let's see like i'm going to my trust wallet i want to do some safe moon let's see if it does safe moon it says search name or paste the address. So if you want typing in the coin and it's not on here, what you do is you go to coin market cap and you type in the name of the coin you want. Let's say safe moon, because I'm already got some safe moon. Right? And then you have some safe moon. And you know, people are talking about safe moon. It's supposed to, if you invest 30 bucks, it's supposed to make 250. So I'll try it out. Whatever, you know. I'm not giving you guys financial advice at all. But uh you got some safe moon. Safe moon is super cheap. So then you click on the contracts part, right? And you copy the contract. See it says copy just by clicking that thing. Copy. I'll copy that. So then what I do is if I want to get some safe moon, I go back to my trust wallet. And again, I'm I'm here. Where am I at? I'm under browser. See, I'm in my trust wallet. I'm under browser. I mean, I went to pancake swap. I want to get some safe moon. All right. It knows how much I have because it's connected to my wallet. I already connected the wallet here. Right, I typed in my BNB. I said max, and then I want to find some. I want to do Safe Moon, but Safe Moon's not on here. I could just use swap, you know, currency swap to anything right here. I could do some basic attention token, it would give me 18 bat if I wanted, and I could just swap it, you know. It would give me, you know, let me see, but I don't want to do basic attention token right now. I want to do some Safe Moon. And see, it found the it found the address, and it added it because I went to CoinMarketCap.com, and I went to contracts, and I copied the contract. You know, I'm doing it like this because I saw videos before and I didn't get it, so I'm making sure you understand it. I went back to my trust wallet and I copied that here. 
Because I already, you know, I'm already in there. Safe moon. And then if I wanted to get some safe moon, I would just click swap. But I already got some safe moon. I don't want no safe moon right now. I already got some. You feel me? And then once I click swap, it will swap it out. But sometimes what you got to do is you got to click this little settings things right here. And you got you might have to move your, your tolerance for it to go. Sometimes you got to move it to 1%. Sometimes you might have to move it to 3%, 1.5. So, you know, one, try try 1% first. If that doesn't work, try 2, try 2.5. Try 3% at the max. Sometimes you click swap, it's not going to work because your slip intolerance, basically like the money is charging you to do it. You know what I'm saying? So 1%, try 1% first, it might work. If it, don't, if it gives you an error message, come back, try 2%. Boom. Gives you another error message, come back again. Try 2.5%. Still doesn't do it. Come back again. Try 3%. Right? And that's probably the highest. I'll do is 3%. I heard some people going high as 11%. I wouldn't do that. But, you know, bam. So then after you, you swapped it out, it's going to uh, come back to your wallet like it already has for me because I already got some safe moon. Okay, I got a gang of safe moon. Safe moon. Billion. Billion safe mooner, 158 million. Yeah. All right. So then that's how you get some safe moon off a of pancake swap. And then uh how you stake your coins. Uh all you gotta do is have some have some of the coin. You again, if you want to stake some coins, go to or you gotta need to have the coin also buy it on whatever exchange you buy your coins on. Boom. Then from there, uh you wanna send your coin to yourself. So you just go click on here, receive. It's gonna give you the address. You feel me? And then go to your exchange and transfer the money over here. You feel me? Transfer the uh the crypto over here, whichever crypto you want. Look, if you want to do some XRP, you know what I'm saying? Boom. I copy the address and I go back and paste that address into wherever I want to send the money from or whatever, whatever exchange. Then uh once the money gets there, I'm in. So then so let's say you got some uh you got some BNB. You want to stake. So then you go on BNB. I don't have any BNB. Let's say I had some though. You click more. Then you click, let's click stake details first. So I, to do this contract, you got to have at least one BNB. And uh, just giving out 31%. And lock time is seven days. And then I could just click stake right there. If I have some, it will stake. Or I could just click more and stake. So I'm already staking some kava and uh, as you can see i've got some kava i staked 5.39 i've got 0 0.0031 kava and rewards so you know my kava balance is going up a little bit uh what else am i staking oh yeah i'm staking some tron staked uh 199.99 tron i've already gotten 0 0.05 uh, extra Tron from staking and you can see it reflected here and you know this is all done through a smart contract and I really don't have to do anything all I got to do is click more and I just click stake details and then I click stake as long as I have some Tron in here and you just you know you got to buy some Tron on the exchange and then send the rest of the Tron here so if you already do crypto you should know how to do that if you ain't if you don't know how to send and receive a cryptocurrency i don't know what to tell you you need to go back to step one but yeah and then if i want to do some deeper staking i go back to my browser and then i go to beefy finance or you can go to any of these other ones your finance you know but i'm like i heard this one venus whatever too but you know you can go to beefy finance 
And then, like I showed you a little earlier, you could just, you know what I'm saying, stake your coins for, like, super high interest rates. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. 579%. So, yeah, guys. Uh, that's how you use your trust wallet. This is Music King. Uh, I'm signing out. Get back at me. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Go check out the music on Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, wherever they got music at, SoundCloud, whatever. Go tap in. Go get you some uh, some Rockstar TV, though. You feel me? Go get you some of that. You feel what I'm saying? Get you some, some drip. You feel me?